When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're looking into number 99 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay claims, viewed from a ball Earth, Polaris, d- situated directly over the North Pole, should not be visible anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. For Polaris to be seen from the Southern Hemisphere of a globular Earth, the observer would have to somehow be looking through the globe, and miles in, of land and sea would have to be transparent. Polaris can be seen, however, up to over 20 degrees south latitude. First things first, Polaris is not visible from anywhere south of the equator. The myth that it can be seen as far south as 20 degrees into the southern hemisphere is just that, a myth. This misconception does not come from any reality-based astronomy. Now. A lot of you globe-denying crowd will say, hey, Jerry, where do you get off saying that? And to them, I say, where's the astronomy to support this claim? Where are the photos? In the near decade since Dubay put out his original video of these claims, have any globe deniers shown that this claim is true? There are many globe deniers who claim to be world travelers, right? A number of them in, say, Brazil, yet no one has demonstrated this claim to be true. How many people here have seen globe deniers challenging critics to go out and prove things through astrophotography, yet none of them have provided anything to support this claim beyond the statement itself? And where does this statement come from? Well, it seems to be from a passage in Robotham's book, Of Course. On page 41, Robotham states, In the Times newspaper of May 13, 1862, under the head of Naval and Military Intelligence, it is stated that Captain Wilkins distinctly saw the Southern Cross and the Polar Star at midnight in 23 degrees, 53 minutes latitude and 35 degrees, 46 minutes longitude. And if you go look at that publication, you'll find that is exactly what it says. But what is very important is what it doesn't say. It doesn't say north or south or east or west, and it doesn't have a plus or a minus in front of any of the values. Basic logic and common usage tells us that if there was no minus in front of it, we should assume it's positive. But Robotham assumed the latitude was negative, and thus the ship was still in the southern hemisphere. The article said that the ship had left St. Helena, which is an island in the Atlantic near southern Africa, on the 18th of March. That's at about 16 degrees south and 6 degrees west. The article also says the ship arrived at Spithead on May 12th. The article says the Southern Cross and the Pole Star were seen on April 19th. For Robotham's assumption to be true, that would mean the ship left on the 18th and took five weeks to needlessly go 2,000 miles south and west and saw the North Star and the Southern Cross here, and then hauled ass 5,500 miles back to England in three weeks. While if you assume the latitude is north, the the ship takes a sensible path north and west 3,400 miles for five weeks to here, and then 2,500 miles to England over three weeks. Call me crazy, but I don't think a troop ship carrying 97 wounded soldiers and 50 women and children is going to be taking sightseeing detours instead of hurrying home. But that's just me. So are we done with these claims from Robotham without evidence to support them? No? Shit. No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 